What up, y'all? It's your boy R to the A to the S. Yes, Roz. Here with Proceed with Cause Blog today to give y'all my thoughts on No Malice album. What is it? The Let the Dead Bury the Dead? Something like that? Not my bad. Too late to look it up right now. Give y'all my thoughts on what I like, what I didn't like about this project. Overall general thoughts. Obviously, there were some things I was kind of surprised with. One of which is it went back to the cussing. All right, got some explicit lyrics on here. Another thing I, I, I was kind of surprised with is some of his uh, references uh, in his, his album. Because he, you know, if you watch interviews in the past, he's sort of like, you know, I don't watch TV. I don't really, you know, do something. I was kind of surprised at the the Empire cookie reference. Like, you must be watching TV now or something, brother. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, that kind of surprised me. But overall, I'm just gonna say this project. I like this project overall way better than his first one. Way, 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 way better. Still got some of the same flaws which we'll discuss, but this is an overall better album. Uh, first, we we'll talk about the intro. Be kind of hard. Uh, I don't like how he stretches words. I know I got a problem with that, but. You know, definitely giving you that uh, clips feel with the the Coke references and stuff like that. I ain't, you know what kind of Coke I'm talking about. All right. Uh, fake news. Be hard. Wordplay on here is nice, man. Uh, lyrically, I just think he killed it. And that's really what made this project better than the last one to me is I think lyrically, he really stepped it up. It's as good as his clips days. No, but... I think he, he really stepped it up lyrically. I, I just really like his wordplay on a lot of songs, man. Uh, fake news, you know. Again, I, I didn't expect the whole political side. That's another thing that surprised me, man. You know, he's going more of this conscious woke route, you know. I just didn't think he was going to go that route on his album. So that was interesting. Uh, loop 4-5. Be straight, uh, like his, you know, his approach. You know, he has sort of like these preachy type of lyrics. Um, I, when I say preachy, I don't mean that in a bad way, but he has these preachy type of lyrics. So I think this straight song, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Star does get into the controversy. Uh, he uses the N word on here. I know some people who are, you know, offended by the N word. So I'm not sure. Is this something that? You know, a song you would want to listen to on that. But just overall, man, I thought um, the beat was nice and he sounded like himself. He wasn't stretching his words like he usually do. So I was pleased with that, man. Um, that song, So Woke. Uh, now, I get the whole GD uh, twisting of the wordplay, but okay, the first one didn't really bother me. But when he said, I didn't really give a GD like uh, I don't know how you is that something that you go there with I get it it's wordplay I understand that. I know y'all gonna say that but uh, nah man not, not for me it's not something I can listen to like a, a Christian definitely not they're gonna you know most Christians that I know of let's put it this way black Christians black Christians don't are kinda hard when it comes to stuff like that and then non-christians they will be like what this is nah you sound like his old self so to me it just doesn't work doing it um so but i think you know the rest of the song is straight though but it's just the, the whole testing of limits uh why I cry beat is cool but just not really feeling the hook sky crack uses the a word and the t word all right the breast and the behind. Y'all know what I mean. The A and the T. Once again, even in in the secular, there are certain words that even on TV that you don't even use, right? Um, so there's a, a discretion, a distinction there. Do you really have to use that word? Because I know some women. I'm not even talking about Christian women just non-christian women if you say t the t word they would be offended so why you know just say it just to so it's gonna be offensive where you can avoid it you know what i'm saying again i'm not saying it's a sin or anything like that but it's just like eh, just not 
a good choice in my opinion. Um, but you know, since it's a straight song, the second verse is dope though. Uh, done and said, preachy type of lyrics. B's okay. Shame on me. Um, the the second I like the second verse, and the beat kind of dope. And then let's die. Now I'm sure people will say you're reaching, but did anybody catch that the drug dealer's anonymous line? Because you know his brother and Jay put out a song called Drug Dealer Anonymous. Now if you didn't notice his brother, you would be like, man, is that a shot? You know, I don't think he would do a shot at his brother, but I just thought that hmm, that's interesting. Um, but not feeling the way he stressed his words on this song, man. So overall, you know, I'm saying his production ain't the greatest, but it's definitely way better to me than the last album. It's more consistent. Definitely not feeling the stretch in the words as usual. Um, I definitely feel lyrically far superior than his last album. So yeah, if you are, you know, no mileage fan and you can skip the words with the, you know, skip that songs with the cussing, I think you will be pleased with this project. So that's my thoughts. Love to hear yours. Uh, definitely will be doing a Lecrae review. All right. This is Proceed with Caution Blog and Skip Bayless and his Cowboys suck and I'm out.